Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google is trying out a new feature in Chrome, where they are trying to meet the European Union's new digital market DMA requirement, where they are trying to make it easier and simplifying the way you can change the default search engine in Chrome to obviously comply with those requirements. And this is a new feature they are experimenting on in Chrome Canary version 122, which is the latest preview version of the browser. Now, this change is hidden behind an experimental flag called Search Engine Choice. And if you'd like to try out this feature and you are running a Chrome Canary, then as always, we head up to the Omnibox and we enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And the easiest to bring up the relevant flag is just to type in Search Engine and there we go. So the flag is called Search Engine Choice. The description for the flag reads, enables the Search Engine Choice screen and related features. The search engine choice screen will be displayed in the first run experience. So that's the first time you run the browser after installing a new version of Chrome. Profile creation flow and in a modal dialog on desktop. This also enables the new UI for the search engine settings page on both desktop and Android. Now you'll notice there are a couple of different options available. Enabled and enabled with forced EEA country. Now, I'm not in the European Union, so none of these work in my region as yet because obviously this is to comply and meet the European Union's new Digital Market Act requirement. So I'm just going to, for the purpose of this video, and the one I do suggest you try and enable if you are in the EEA, is to use with forced EEA country. And then we'll have to relaunch Chrome Canary 122 to apply that flag. Now... As mentioned, I'm not in the EEA, so nothing will change uh, in my region. But if we head over to one or two screenshots once again, provided by Leo over on X, this will give us a good general idea as to what this feature is all about. Now, as mentioned, this new flag enables the new UI for the search engine page in settings, which we are looking at currently. And it also adds icons next to the search engines and replaces the combo box with uh, radio buttons as we can see. So those are some of the first changes to comply with those requirements. Now if we head over to the next, this is regarding um, running the browser after the first installation as mentioned and the flag also forces the prompt as we can see uh, to choose the default search engine to appear when you run the browser for the first time after an installation. And this, as mentioned, is related to the fact that Google has to comply with the EU's new Digital Markets Act DMA. So obviously they are trying now to make it easier and simplify the process because of the, the process, because of those requirements to be able to uh, choose and um, obviously select your default search engine by having this um, run screen on your first um, launch after an installation. And obviously, as we can see, by popping those um, icons regarding the relevant search engines so it just makes it easier to identify next to the relevant search engine so thought that was interesting and this is not available as yet uh, in the stable version so if you're looking for this feature uh, in the stable version it's it's not there yet it's still early days and this as mentioned is still hidden behind an experimental flag but i think um because of those requirements there is a very good chance um, that this will find its way into the stable version because of those um requirements in the European Union and like all things with these new features uh, in the browsers um, I'll keep a close eye on this one and I'll keep you posted as I get more info so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one